Okay, so today we will talk about how to back up some of the platform as a service uh, services from Azure. So specifically talking about Cosmos, DB, backup. So probably talk about Cosmos DB backup strategy, what we're going to do. So, so let me try and <laughs> design a Cosmos DB. Let's see if I'm able to do that. Okay. All right. So we got, we have a few options. One is an automatic backup. So this is a service provided by Microsoft and Microsoft takes an automatic backup every four hours and they provide you with, uh, so, so they take backups every four hours and, and you can restore, you can access last two backups. So last two backups are online so but the caveat is that you call Microsoft for restore for any restore okay so so this is the automatic backup let's talk about a different strategy where you want to manage your own backups so if the organization wants to manage their own backups there's one reliable option that we have which is called a change feed i have some experience in um, creating change feeds so a change feed plugs into the uh, Cosmos DB container and and then you can you know pump the output in the same order <clears throat> as it was generated so you do that and you can pipe it to storage account you can do it to different we can also through you know send it to another cosmos db or you can send it to a data lake So you can send it to another Cosmos DB database. You can send it to Data Lake. You can send it to a blob. And, and then you have another copy of your change feed. You can set it up <clears throat> on a schedule that can, uh, a good thing about it is that it only and so the change log only has the uh, the latest updates which uh, so you can make sure that you're not actually sending the entire thing the entire container every single time so this is how you can a simple strategy to manage your own Cosmos DB backups. Thank you.